So, Vic, how do I get in this box? Look for an industrial air exchanger on the side of the building. Breach it, then go for their security monitoring setup downstairs. Your next objective should be easy to pick out once you've accessed the camera feeds. Famous last words. Two hours ago. What? We're not working fast enough for you? You think you can tell me how to do my job? I'm going to tell Lucius Galliard that you are interfering in our work. What do you think about that? You hear that? I did. But what he doesn't realize... ...is that we work for Galliard, too. You can't. You just... I just did. Now you got a choice. Get back to work. Were you next? Not this one. Need her at the Bravo site. You can have the other as long as it's useful. Finish and start final phase. And the rest of the building. Roll it all back. What? You can't? This is unacceptable. You. Keep Poindexter here working. I gotta clean up to supervise. Don't kill me. Answer my questions and we'll see. What are you working on that requires this kind of lockdown? Electromagnetic pulse countermeasure stuff for DARPA, mostly. Or we were. 
Since Robertson got here, it's been all project-driven. Robertson? What's his deal? You mean besides letting Black Arrow take over the lab? He collects all the experimental data and wipes it off the rest of the systems. It's bad for workflow, and only he can see the big picture of what mm. we're working on. What about Lucius Galliard? Where does he fit in? <laughs> He's my boss. The owner of the company, and the guy who hired Black Arrow and Robertson to do security. I'm thinking it might be a good idea to relieve Robertson of that data. Can you get me in? I could get you into the elevator. Good. Do it, then get out. I think I'd rather stay. Some of my friends, they might need my help. Maybe I can... Good luck. Pressurizes fast all over your face, too. That doesn't sound good. No, it isn't. Ah! I know you're inside White Box. I can help. Just let me know when you reach Robertson's system. So you heard everything. What a surprise. But now you're supposed to have good news about Sarah. She's on the line. That's why I called. Make it quick. Dad? Sarah, is it you? Are you okay? They told me you were dead, Dad. They told me that you'd been killed. They told me the same thing about you. I... I... Sorry, Sam. Time's up. Graham. Later. You've got work to do.
So stick to short control to overlook first. It. Otherwise, you might get yourself a surprise. Unit two, what's your location? What's the count? Scientists, sixteen. Lab techs, another. Unit one, radio check. Four personnel and janitorial, six. With everyone present, the count is moving. All except one. A lab tech named Franklin is back. Coward like the rest of these geeks. Come on out. Where'd he go? This one's clear. Let's move on to the next zone. Looks quiet. Let's move on. Come on out. Looks clear. Let's move to the next zone. Covered. You ain't got a chance. Keep your head on a yeah, it's not funny. Come on out and I'll give you something else to laugh about. Over there. You'll die. Fucking hell. Oh, I've got something for you. I can see Robertson's system from here. Dr. McGrim. Good. Now think about making this room a hostile environment for uninvited guests. I might need you to be on that system for a while, and I don't want you interrupted. Remote detonation mines should do the trick. Sam here. I'm looking at Robertson's system. Perfect. Can you get me a back door? Just like old times. You've got root access and a socket address. Thanks. I'm setting up a capture so I can download everything he's got. All of the EMP data is on there. A couple of analysts I trust are looking forward to seeing it. Okay, Sam. The link is active and the pipe is full. So I'm done here. Not quite. I need you to babysit this from your end. If the connection goes, I can't re-establish it from here. So? Nobody else gets their hands on this box. From what I'm seeing, that system could be used to shut down the site's connectivity. I'd be locked out and we'd be out of luck. Then I'd better get ready. Company's coming. with the intruder. They're shutting down the connection. We're at 20%. Shutting down the connection. We just hit sixty percent. Let's get in there and get him. Go, move it, move it, go. Come on, man up, show yourself. Busting back up at my location. We need to get this on. Fuck me. Eighty percent, almost home. Oh, what the? Got 
you now! Choose your lab, Fisher! Shit! All clear on this end. I can't say the same. Someone's locked a trace onto my download. I can't cut it. And if they find me, my cover's blown and so is Sarah's. Where's it coming from? Looks like inside white box. First floor? Blueprints show a large space, probably a test lab. Right, I went through it. They store their test EMP there. You might have to use it. Do whatever it takes, but cut that trace. Vic, I'm inside White Box and I need a hand. This should be good. It is. I may need to set off an EMP inside the site in order to kill a trace. How tight is this place's exterior shielding? Tighter than a drill sergeant's asshole. Everything electronic inside would be fried. Outside, not a peep. So, knock yourself out. <laughs> Thanks, Vic. I'll stay here and stand guard. Still searching. No sign of the hostile. I'm gonna stand watch here. Requesting reinforcements. Stay alert. Get back up. Somewhere. Send reinforcements ASAP. I'm on the way. No contact yet. I'm continuing my sweep. Oh shit! Good I think I'm down here, Grim. Maybe I'll go look for this Galliard everyone's talking about. Who's this Galliard? You know him? Not directly, but let me get back to you on this. Don't go after him until I do. In the meantime, we'll have an analyst working on Robertson's data. How did Sam get on site at the Lincoln Memorial? 
Easy. Secret Service acting on orders from the President got him there. Why'd they do that? Oh, that's a little trickier. You see, the name Lucius Galliard got Grimm's attention. She knew he was a businessman Reed was working with. But Reed kept things compartmentalized, and that was one of the aspects of his operation Grimm had no access to. It pissed her off. What Grimm did know was that Reed was meeting Galliard at the memorial in the morning, right after some bullshit photo op speech the VP was given. Galliard's people were handling event logistics, which was why he'd be there. Grimm took it to the president, who didn't like the coincidence. She wanted to know what they were talking about, and that meant getting Sam on site for audio surveillance. And more, if necessary. I'm inside. What now? The president's on the line, Sam. We need to eavesdrop on the conversation Reed's about to have with Galliard. So bug the memorial. We thought of that, Mr. Fisher. Galliard's people scrubbed the site in preparation for my vice president's charming little speech. And there was no time to get new equipment in place. Then what's plan B? You are. This morning's camera equipment is still in place. Get to the control booth, pack the camera controls to record oh. the conversation, and uplink yeah. the feed to us. Just like that. All right, I'm on it. What did you think? Of what? Speech? Yeah, I thought it was pretty good. You did? Did you vote for it? In the primaries? No. I'm a little surprised the administration gave him the public. All right, Grim. I'm in the camera booth. Now what? You need to sync the feed from the console to me so that I can see what we're getting. It should be easy to hack. Hang on. That's it. Now I need you to get comfortable with those camera controls. We're dealing with directional mics here, high-end, but they're integrated with the camera focus. Get Reed and Galliard in the shot, and we'll get the audio. Miss them, and we get nothing. And here they come, now. You need to tighten up the shot, Sam. Just, I'm glad you can make it. We've got some last-minute logistic issues to discuss. We're 24 hours out, and you want to talk paperclip requisitions here, now. The site's clean, and I knew you'd be here since your company did the setup on the Samson speech. One of my companies, yes. I have several. <laughs> which includes Black Arrow, which I assume is what you want to talk about. We can talk about Black Arrow shortcomings later. I want to talk about what I need to make this go off smoothly. <gasps> Do you now? I was impressed that he said that. What did you think of Samson's speech? It was a nice piece of grandstanding. He should give his writers a raise. He swears he writes all his speeches himself. I'm sure it plays well for the folks back home. I don't like the chances. You don't like Samson. I don't trust Samson. But you're tired of using it, which is it's something you should keep in mind. My, my, are you actually threatening me? I thought we were both more civilized than that. This is what your people want. The people I represent want you to deal with Fisher. Stop wasting time. Stop wasting their money. If Megiddo's getting cold feet... Let me make this clear, Reed. Megiddo planned this operation. Megiddo paid for this operation. And Megiddo would be very upset if anyone were allowed to interfere with it. He's not going to interfere because my men will deal with them, since Black Arrow wasn't able to. I'll worry about Black Arrow. You stick to the plan. Like I was saying, it's interesting that you chose this place to meet, of all places. And why would you say that? The eyes of history are upon it. 
No mistake about that. I'd rather keep our part in things out of the history books, thank you. Really? I thought you enjoyed the spotlight more than that. I'll do the song and dance when I have to, but the man on stage is the one with the least cover. And cover's important, especially at a time like this. Which would explain why you're still here. Executive oversight. I hate leaving things to chance or third party. You're supposed to be in Paris. All hell's about to break loose. My men will be very busy. So I cannot guarantee your safety. I'm not asking you to. Are you sure? This is to protect you and the operation. Some things require a personal touch. Now, if that's everything, we're done here. I'll see you when it's over. Goodbye, Lucius. Let's go after Reed. No, the smart play is to talk to Galliard. We can find Reed later. I concur. I want to know more about Megiddo, and Lucius Galliard is the only source we have. Okay, go. I'll freeze Galliard in place. I think he's running right now. Galliard. Mr. Galliard, my name is Anna Grimm's daughter. I'm calling on behalf of Tom Reed at Third Echelon. I know who you are. I just finished talking with your boss. What does Reed want now? Director Reed felt that the resolution that you two came to probably wasn't satisfactory for all sides. What? And was wondering if you'd be open to further discussion on the matter. Oh, how very thoughtful of him. The answer is still no. He'd like to know if there's anything else that could be put on the table to get you to reconsider. Oh, a pry. Mr. Galliard, I think you're misunderstanding the purpose of my call. No, I don't think I am. Let me explain something, Miss Grimm's daughter. All I want from Tom Reed is for him to do his damn job. Why don't you tell him that for me? If you'll hold for one second, I'll put Director Reed on the line and you can tell him yourself, sir. You know what? You do that. You really shouldn't talk to him like that. Guards! Where the hell are my guards? It's just you and me, Lucius. Let's talk. What's your connection with Reed? If you ask nicely, I tell you. If he's just hired help. God, you're thick. This is bigger than Reed, bigger than Third Echelon. They're just convenient. And why does Reed want you out of town? Ugh. Your enhanced interrogation techniques need work. He wants to run the show when the EMPs are triggered. There's three of them scattered around the city. In a few hours, they go off and he gets to play commando. There are people he wants to impress. <laughs> the EMPs, where do I find them? Say please. I don't know. That's part of the plan. You see? You can't stop it, Fisher. It's too big. It's too late. And the people I work for? This is just part of what they've got going on. Megiddo. Who are they? Try harder, Fisher. Megiddo. Who are they? They're the ones who run this town. In Moscow, in Beijing, in any other place that matters. <laughs> They're the ones who are going to get me out of this in one piece. And once Reed is finished at the one... Ah! That's all Reed. Damn it. Officer in trouble! Sam, what's happening? Galliard's dead. The shooter's running. We need him alive. He may be our only link between Third Echelon and Megiddo. I've got a visual. He's on the stage. Just a bump. He just ducked into the VIP tent. Move it, Sam. Oh, just can't let him go. Yeah, I'm here! He went over the 
Any idea why? I'll tap into their Como to find out. squads converging on your position right now. What about the cops? Third echelon called them off when they killed up the shooter. When the gloves are off, we need to ride out of here. The Secret Service agent who brought you in is on his way to extract you. But until he gets there, you're on your own. Area looks clear. Are we sure Fisher's still in the Lincoln Memorial Zone? Watch your back, he's close. Really close. No movement! Fisher around here. We better hurry before the cops come back. Eyes and ears, people. He's close by. Sector's clear. Area seems clear. Let's get back to work, but stay frosty. No signs of movement. He's playing it safe. Still nothing here. This cafe's got plenty of hiding spots for a guy like Fisher. Sam, a second wave of operatives is on its way. Nothing unusual to report. Big 
Fisher. He's hiding. Find the hostile and take him out. Move! Stay alert. Can't have gone too far. Still no visual on Fisher. Continue to sweep the cafe. Fisher did his thing here, gentlemen. Let's stop him before he destroys the terrace. Back up the roof. Hang tight. No Fisher yet. Find him. He's certainly not having a coffee. He's not here. Spread out and continue to sweep. Attack in a fix. Where is he? Still searching. No sign of the hostile. There's another batch coming at you, Sam. Everybody keep your eyes open in case it comes back. Reed wants them dead. I don't have a visual on the target. Fuck me! No contact on Fisher. Has anyone checked the cafe? Continuing my sweep. Don't find the hostile. Everybody keep your eyes open. Still no visual on the hostile. Time to go, Sam. Your ride is here. Where? On the bridge behind the cafe. Go. Shows you how much Sam changed that he would even think about going after Third Echelon. He'd been a company man, loyal to the bone. But now, here he was, ready to rip the guts out of the beast. The building's weakness was in the power supply. The main feed and primary backup ran through the basement parking garage. With a little C4 in the right places, Sam could cut the power to the building long enough to slip inside Third Echelon. That was good enough for Sam. He was going in, and he wanted them to know he was coming. Sam, are you in the garage? I smell like a spare tire. It was the best way. Now I need you to use the C4 you packed to take out the building's primary and secondary transformers. Do it simultaneously when you reach the front desk, and you'll have a short window before the emergency power puts security back online. They're both on the parking level, right? Right, but in two separate rooms. And don't be seen or they're gonna seal the security doors and you're done. And don't give those surveillance cameras a show. Near the server room. Get to him before security does, or he won't be able to help you.
Attention all personnel. Please remember to keep your key card with you at all times. Without your key card, you will not be able to access the building and may be detained until proof of your identity can be provided. Thank you. Sam, the one thing Third Echelon had always been about was the truth. Even after everything that happened, he'd held on to that. But now he was coming back as the hunter, as the enemy, as the one thing he'd never thought he'd be. And the truth, it was waiting for him. I'm sorry, we're closing the office early for some routine maintenance. Please try again tomorrow. Thank you. I'm sorry, sir, but I'm afraid the office is closed for the evening. I'm here to see Tom Reed. Mr. Reed is currently unavailable, but if you'd like to make an appointment, Mr. Fisher, I used to work here. Security alert. Main power is offline. Emergency power will be online in five, Four, three, two, one, zero. Security doors are closing. He's waiting for you in the office off the server room. Got it. Are you Fisher? Over here! Are you Fryman? Yeah. Yeah. You're Fisher, right? Anna told me that you were coming. I, I was a big fan of yours back when you worked here. I was a big fan. I'm touched. What do you have for me? I've got those. Ultra high frequency sonar goggles. Better than the stuff the new splinter cells are getting. Hey, try them on. 
Voila. With these babies, he can see in the dark. He can see through walls. You name it. Not bad. Plus, I tweak them so that you can see the security system laser grid. Trip the beam, and a turret targets the break. Nasty stuff. I programmed the algorithm. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> oh, but just one thing. Um, the top of the line guys are, are packing similar gear, so if you can see them, they, they might be able to see you. Thanks. Now you better get moving. Oh, I'll be fine. I'll just tell the security guards that I was reading in the can. You know, they'll walk me right back to my office. And you, on the other hand, is... Good luck. Fisher could be in the server room. I want everybody there. ASAP. Search and destroy. Find the hostile and take him out. Fisher's alive! We missed him at the Lincoln, but we moved our building. Find him! No contact, no contact. Everybody stay sharp. No contact on him. Back. Some of us have to join Colonel Reed for the main event. I don't have a visual on the target. Come on, sweetie, get fly that way. Come through No sign of hostile. Hey, you guys hear anything just now? I thought I heard down the hall. Target is sucked! Open. Look, Reed, this was part of the deal. Protection. Well, protect me! I'm telling you, he's here. You need to do so. Nice to see you again. Look, uh, Fisher, I can explain! Nobody's coming to save you this time, Andre. Now tell me, what the hell is Reed up to? Reed's working with Megiddo. He's using Third Echelon to get EMPs into the country. And sighted in DC, I, I helped set it up, it's what I do. Why? What does Reed get out of this? The president. They're gonna take out the president after the EMPs go off. To paralyze the city. Use it as cover for the hit tonight. Why go after the president? I can't tell you. 
Huh? She won't play ball, but the VP is already in Makito's pocket. Uh, Reed gets a medal and a big fat promotion after it all goes down. That son of a bitch. Last question. This is the important one. What do you know about my daughter? If I tell you, you're gonna kill me. I don't know anything about her. Fisher. Like I said, they gave me a picture. And told me to provide a body that matched. I did a lot of jobs like that for third echelon. Anything they needed. Ask your friend Grimm's daughter. I worked with her a bunch of times. She knows more about this than I do. Oh. Shut up. Still alive? Good. I think. Back up! We're going in! First floor! Move it! Go! They're not getting this one on the hostile! an interesting discussion with your friend Coben. Reed's in bed with Megiddo. They're going after the president and playing kingmaker with a VP. The EMPs are for cover. Of course. Aid won't be able to get there in the aftermath, and they'll have a convenient terrorist attack as cover for everything. Coben had a few other things to say. I'm headed to your office, Grim. What am I gonna find there? Something long overdue. Patch me through in telepresence when you get there. We'll talk then. Clean. You better hurry up and find Fisher, gentlemen. We have to close our building. <laughs> We're clean here. No contact on Fisher. Men still on our turf. No sign of the hostile. Oh. Nobody here. Still no visual on the contact. Can anyone advise?
So tell me about Sarah, Grim. Tell me why you lied to me. It was Lambert's call, Sam. He thought he was no. protecting you. He had a recording system set up in his office. Everything that went on in there he saved. Before New York, he gave me the access codes. The files can only be triggered on site and only by me. This is what he had to say about Sarah. Sarah Fisher, I'd received reliable intelligence of a credible threat against her. One coming from a mole inside Third Echelon. The threat against Sarah would be used in an attempt to leverage Sam. Sam would then be compromised, and I couldn't allow that. So I made the hard choice. I fake Sarah's death, taking her off the playing board. Without her, Sam would be free to act as he needed to. He'd suffer, but she'd be safe. The rest was detailed. Preparing a new identity for Sarah, securing her. Excellent work there, Anna, and keeping her hidden. Then use that despicable creature, Coven, to provide a body that could stand in for the girl. And then I lied to my best friend. Told him his daughter was dead. Took advantage of his grief and used it for Third Echelon's purposes. And the saddest part of this, I never uncovered the mole. The danger to her and to Sam is still out there. Which means this has to stay hidden. You and I know. That's all. Perhaps someday... Sam! Sam! Sam, listen to me! Sam! What? You have to listen to me. What's done is done. But right now, I need you. I need the Sam Fisher I worked with. Haven't you heard? He's dead! Just ask my daughter. Sam, please! My analysts have worked through the rest of the data that you got from White Box. We know what they're doing, and we can't stop it. Then what do you need me for? They've got three directional EMP generators in place. When they go off, the pulses will blanket the entire metro area. Optimal coverage pattern predictions place one of those three at the old city reservoir site. You need to go there and disable it. Why should I? Because that's the one that will hit Sarah's apartment. And if you stop it, you can save her from what's coming after. And the other two? There's only time to go after one. So go, save your daughter. I was never holding her. That was just a bluff to get you in the game. And for whatever it's worth, I'm sorry. What about you? I'm going to the White House with Tom Reed, and I'm going to try to save the President. Maybe I'll see you there. Attention all personnel. Protocol 2319 is now in effect. Site cleanup and data sterilization has begun. All personnel must reach minimum safe distance of 100 yards from the building immediately. Sam, read launch protocol 2319. Get out of there, now. Warning, protocol 2319 is now in effect. Protocol 2319 is now in effect. So now Sam knew everything. Knew that the best friend he'd murdered had betrayed him for the best reason in the world. Knew that the thing he'd helped Lambert build needed to be utterly destroyed. He was his own man now, and all his ties to his old life were gone, except for Grimm. She called me to call in a favor. It was too late to go for the other EMPs, but she did want me to go get Sarah. Sam deserved that much, at least. 
Meanwhile, she'd be at the White House doing whatever the hell she thought she could do there. So, I said yes. No way I was going to leave Sarah down there for when the shit hit the fan. And I wasn't going to abandon her father. Not even when he just waded in and started beating answers out of people. Then again, that was pure Sam. Pure Sam when he got mad.